Good day to all you Tolkien fans. March 25th is one of the only Tolkien holidays, and today is Tolkien Reading Day. So I am going to read from the dialogue between Bilbo and Smaug. Let us begin. Smaug certainly looked fast asleep, almost dead and dark, with scarcely a snarl more than a whiff of unseen steam. When Bilbo peeped once more from the entrance, he was just about to step out onto the floor when he caught a sudden thin and piercing ray of red from under the the drooping wet of Smaug's left eye. He was only pretending to be asleep. He was watching the tunnel entrance. Hoodly, Bilbo stepped back and blessed the luck of his dream. Then Smaug spoke. Well, thief, I smell you and I feel your oil. I hear your breath. Come along. Help yourself. There's plenty and some to spare. But Bilbo was not uh, quite so unlearned in Dragon Law as that. And if Smoke hoped to get him um, to come there so easily, he was disappointed. No, thank you, oh Smaug the Tremendous, he replied. I did not come for presents. I only wish to have a look at you Ooh, and see if you were truly as great as the tales say. I did not believe them. Do you now, said the dragon, somewhat flattered, even though he didn't believe a word of it. Truly, songs and tales feel utterly short of reality. Oh, Smaug, the chiefest and greatest of calamities, replied Bilbo. You have nice manners for a thief and a liar, said the dragon. You seem familiar with my name, but I don't seem remembering to smell you before. Who are you and where do you come from, may I ask? You may indeed. I come from under the hills and under the hills and over the hills my path of it. And through the air I am he who walks unseen. So I can well believe, said Smaug. But that is hardly your usual name. I'm the clue finder, the web cutter. The stinging plot, I was chosen for the lucky number. Lovely titles, snowed the dragon, but lucky numbers don't always come, ma. I'm he that buries his friends alive and draws them um, alive again from the water. I come from the end of the, end of the bag, but no bag went over me. These don't sound so creditable, scoffed Smaug. I am friend of bells and guest of eagles. I am ring winner, luck well. I am barrel rider, went on Bilbo, beginning to be pleased with his red eye. That's better, said Smaug, but don't let your imagination run off with you. This, of course, is the way to talk to dragons if you don't want to reveal your proper name, which is very wise. And do not want to infuriate them by a flat refusal, which is also very wise. No dragons can resist the frustration of a little talk and wasting time trying to understand it. There was a lot here which Smoke did not understand and at all, although I expect you do, since you know all about Bilbo's adventures, what he was referring to. But he thought he understood enough, he need chuckled in his wicked inside. I thought so last night, he smiled to himself. Lickments and nasty schemes and the miserable tub trading Lickman, or I'm a lizard. I haven't been down that way for an age and an age. Very real, barrel rider, he said aloud. Maybe barrel was the poem in his name, maybe not, but it was fat. You may walk unseen, but you did not walk all the way. Let me tell you, I ate six ponies last night, and I shall catch and eat the, all the others before long. In return for the excellent man, I will give you one 
peace, I love friends, for your good. Do not have any more to do with germs if you can help. Dervs? said Bilbo in pretended surprise. Don't talk to me, said Smell. I know the smell and taste of derf no better. Don't tell me that I can eat a derf red and pony and not know it. You'll come to a bad end with such uh, friends, thief, barrel, rider. I don't mind if you go back and tell them so for me. But he did not tell Bilbo that there was one spell they could not make out at all. Hobbit smell, and it was quite outside of the friends, and puzzled him mightily. I suppose the guy felt peace from that cup last night, he went on. Come now, did you? Nothing at all would just like them, and I suppose I was skulking outside, and your job is to do all the dangerous work and get what you can when I'm not looking for them, and will you, and you will get a fair share, don't believe in if you get off alive, you'll be lucky. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already.